Let's balance the equation for the combustion of propane. Propane is C3H8. This is combustion. It's organic combustion because we have our hydrocarbon, we have oxygen gas, and we end up with carbon dioxide and water. So these things here, we see that we have combustion. So to balance the equation, we count the atoms up. I've already done that, but the thing to be careful about is we have two oxygens here and one here, two plus one. So we have a total of three oxygens in the products. We'll leave the O2 here to last when we're balancing because we can change this. It's just oxygen atoms. That won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So oxygen goes last. Let's put a three in front of the CO2. One times three. That'll give us three carbons. Let's update the oxygens. Three times two, that gives us six plus the one here in the water. Seven oxygen atoms. Let's update the hydrogens. Put a four in front of the H2O. Two times four. That gives us eight. So the hydrogens are balanced. We have to update these oxygens again. Three times two is six plus four times the one. That's four. So we have 10 oxygen atoms. And now we come over to our O2. Put a five here. Two times five. That gives us 10. And this equation is balanced. If you want to write the states for the combustion of propane, they look like this. Note that because combustion is exothermic, gets hot, the water that's going to be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the equation for the combustion of propane, C3H8 plus O2. Thanks for watching.